All right, pancreas, here's a cross section. Start with a learning check. Name the following. This here, these cells, and this structure here. I'm not gonna go over the answers right here. Should be apparent in the next slide, as well as hopefully it's review. Okay, here's our pancreas. You already know where it is, what it looks like in the rat. Um, and you know a little bit about what it does, right? So we're gonna have enzymes secreted into the duodenum and hormones secreted into the bloodstream. We'll focus on the former first. So let's actually review each of those things. So if we zoom in to this little chunk right here, we're going to see pancreatic acenar cells. This is the bulk of the cells in the pancreas. So most prevalent are these acenar cells. Um, in the pancreas tissue, they're most of what you're seeing. What do they do? They are producing enzymes. So pancreatic enzymes. What enzymes? A bunch. We've got, so these are all called pancreatic whatever. Um, so pancreatic lipase, pancreatic um, nucleases. Not gonna write that one down because we're not going to be looking at it. Um, I could write it down, I don't know. Pancreatic amylase, breaking down carbohydrates, and pancreatic proteases. A couple different type, type, types of proteases which break down proteins. What type of glands are, are these? This is exocrine, right? Exocrine gland producing these enzymes that are being secreted into the pan pancreatic duct and then into the digestive system, which is outside of the body. What is the other cell type in the pancreas? It's shown in that same picture there. Um, I just like this picture better because it shows a little bit more detail of the pancreatic islet. Here is an islet. Here is an islet, little island in the pancreas where there are endocrine cells. So it contains endocrine cells. You saw this early in the semester and you will see it again. Uh, you saw it again um, recently. So these cells are gonna be connected to the bloodstream because that's what endocrine cells are. <laughs> that's what they do. Um, we've got alpha cells and beta cells, two different types of cells in this pancreatic islet that produce two different hormones. What do they produce? Alpha cells produce glucagon. That's gonna break down glycogen into glucose to ultimately raise blood sugar when, when we need to. Beta cells produce insulin. Insulin will be produced um, when glucose is ingested to cause glucose to be stored as glycogen. That's actually largely in the liver that it's stored. Um, this lowers blood sugar. We'll look again at those, those two. Um, the other thing, so I wanna go back to the focus is going to be these enzymes. Are they just secreted like enzymes alone? <laughs> No, um, so they're in a solution. This is going to be in pancreatic juices. The other thing I want you to know that's in this pancreatic juice is um, bicarbonate. This is gonna help to buffer that acidic chyme coming from the stomach. So it's a buffer. That's it, it's bicarbonate, what that one was. Okay. The last thing I wanna do within this video focus on the pancreas is talk about the proteases a little bit more because they are secreted, um, you already know, like pepsinogen is um, initially a precursor enzyme, has to be activated. So what do you think is gonna activate these proteases from the, the small, from the pancreas? It's gonna be acid. 
Here is our stomach, our pancreas, and our small intestine, of course. The duodenum. Here's the hepatopancreatic sphincter. And then some enzymes are going to be released from the pancreas. Proteases, three proteases to talk about. Trypsinogen, remember that ogen we've seen before. Chymotrypsinogen. And pro carboxypeptidase. These are all going to break peptides, polypeptides um, into shorter peptides and ultimately amino acids. So those are red because they're not activated yet. There's going to be um, peptidases, peptidase in the lining of the duodenum. So this is membrane bound. Uh, I will add that just so that kind of make it make sense. Peptidase that's going to activate trypsinogen. Trypsinogen becomes trypsin. Trypsin is going to activate chymotrypsin to form chymotrypsin. Not sure I said that right. Trypsin is going to act chymotrypsinogen to form chymotrypsin. Trypsin also activates procarboxypeptidase to form carboxypeptidase peptidase without the pro, right? You know, I don't tend to test on like specifics like this. I want you to understand principles. Um, so given the names, making sense of what, whether something is a pro peptide, a pro enzyme, these are all proenzymes, or a, a active enzyme. And then um, applying this basic process to, to those details.